Alright my friends, so this is going to be the third video in my skills integration challenge 2.3.1.2 series. Alright, so we've configured some basic settings here. We've got SSH configured. I want you to make sure that you are at 50% completion before continuing with this video. If not, go ahead and go back to the second video and make sure that you didn't miss a step. Alright, so configure the port security feature to restrict network access. If you're reading the uh, route and switch book, chapter 2 talks about um, doing this port security stuff. So we're going to go ahead and use some of that here in this packet tracer. It's pretty fun, pretty cool stuff, to, great stuff to know. The first thing we need to do is disable all unused ports on the switch. So we are connected to ports FA01 and FA02. So we're going to want to disable ports 3 through 24. Instead of doing that individually, one port at a time, Cisco made a great command called interface range, which will allow us to configure multiple switch ports at once. Alright, so go ahead and type interface range or INT R A N G E F A zero slash three space hyphen space twenty four and hit enter. Notice that our prompt changed the interface range configuration here. So all we gotta do is type shut down and that'll shut down all of those ports. Those are the ones that we're not using. So hit enter. Type end. Or should have typed exit to get back to uh, global config mode. There's also two gigabit ethernet ports on this switch. I believe it's a 2960 that they're using. They'll try to trick you here. So make sure you shut down the gigabit ethernet ports also. So to do that, do the interface range once again. Gig zero slash one space hyphen space two enter shut down. Those will shut both of those down for you. So there we go. We've disabled all unused ports on the switch, and that'll make sure that nobody can just come in and plug into an empty port on one of our switches to gain network access. Next thing we got to do make the two ports that we are connected to access ports. There's two types of ports on a switch. There's an access port which is typically used to connect end devices such as computers and then there's trunk ports which are used to connect uh, multiple switches together. And what trunk ports do is they carry multiple VLANs and their data. Um, we don't have to worry about trunks right now, but what we do need to worry about is making sure that our two ports that we are using are set to be access ports. So in, able to, in order to do that, go ahead and type interface range FA0 slash 1 space hyphen space 2. And that'll put us in the range of FA0 slash 1 and FA0 slash 2 to be able to configure those at the same time. To make them access ports, all we have to do is type switch port mode access and hit enter. Now they're both access ports. Enable port security to allow only two hosts per port. So this is the cool stuff. We're going to enable the port security on our two ports that we're connected to. So in order to enable port security, the command is switch port, tab completion, port security. Just use your tab key to tab complete those. Hit enter. And that'll go ahead and just enable port security, but what we need to do is allow only two MAC addresses to be connected to each of those ports. So port 1 will have two MAC addresses that it allows, and port 2 will have two MAC addresses that it allows. So in order to do that, just 
ratchet up arrow switch port port dash security maximum two and hit enter so now that that's done we need to um, it says record the MAC address in the running configuration I'm not sure exactly what that means but we'll go ahead and just skip it for now it wants us to um, ensure that port violations disable the port so what that'll do is if a foreign MAC address plugs into that port it'll go ahead and just shut the port down and it'll keep it down until it's administratively turned back on go ahead and just up arrow twice switch port port dash security type a question mark here violation security violation mode this question mark comes in handy if you don't know the exact command so we use that quite often so anyway we're gonna type violation hit question mark again and see what we can put we can either set it to protect, restrict, or shut down. It wants us to shut the port down, so we're going to type shut down. Hit enter. There's one more thing we have to do here. Hit up arrow three times. Switch port, port security. Mac dash address. Sticky. So we're going to set it to sticky, and what that'll do, the uh, switch will actually record MAC addresses dynamically. Once it's recorded the MAC addresses that are connected to it, it'll stick those MAC addresses in the table, and they will not change. Therefore, if any other device plugs into our switch, it's going to go ahead and shut that switch down. Looks like we've completed this 100%. Let's just go ahead and ping across the network here. Whoops. Actually, I had to start this over, so I gotta reconfigure the IP addresses real quick. just ping across the network real quick just shooting pings across <clears throat> in order to actually show the MAC address table here. We have to send some information through the switch. We can do show MAC-address-table. These are the two MAC addresses that are recorded and they will not change due to that sticky command that we entered. So watch this. Let's see if it'll let us actually do this. Probably not. Oh, it will. So if we plug him into the first port, and him into the second, and ping across, it should shut the ports down. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm out of time here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my page. I hope you guys found this helpful. This is Techie Champion. Thank you for joining me tonight. Have a good night.